Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Happy April Fool's Day! So today I'm here with a collaboration with Mandy, who is uh, Mandy's Place here on YouTube. This is a Happy Mail slash goodies um, collaboration. Basically, we're just going to show you guys how to package some goodies or what you would give as goodies or Happy Mail. Um, I think the main focus is Happy Mail, but I'm going to do both Happy Mail and goodies just because I want to. Um, so first of all, happy mail is just that you just randomly send somebody something small just to say, Hey, thinking of you, or, you know, I was watching your YouTube and you said you would love to try, I don't know, basic gray magnets. So I'm just sending you this pack of basic gray magnets. Obviously I wouldn't send a used one, but, or, um, this is happy mail. I received this cute little pack of binder clips, gold binder clips because I said on a video that I couldn't find gold ones and I really, really wanted gold ones and somebody sent them to me. So that's a happy mail. Um, happy mail can just be, um, a card. It could just be, you know, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. It could be stuff from the dollar store. It could be anything. Um, I'm trying to find the card that I received. Oh, here it is. Mary Beth sent, um, everyone who went on the Vegas retreat, she sent all of us this really sweet um, St. Patrick's Day cards. Um, she sent these out to everyone. I did a video on it, so I just want to, sorry, I have it in a very special place, so I just wanted to put it back before I forgot. But anyway, so she sent that, you know, a homemade card, you know, very cute. We loved it. Everyone loved it. So that's all it is. So for my Happy Mail, this is actually goodies, but you can use it as Happy Mail. Very simple. I bought uh, a 200 pack of these bags on Amazon for like five bucks. They are just um, glassine bags. Um, and what's going in my goodie bag is stickers from the dollar store. So that's just going in the bag. Um, some bling pieces, and I think these, they're probably from Michael's, um, if not, they may have been gifted to me, but, um, I'm sharing the love because I know the person who I'm sending this to, they mentioned these in a video, so I'm sending them to them, but I don't like the fact that two of them are it down in the package. It's just weird. So I'm just going to fix that really quickly. I think it was there. I don't know. Um, so I'm going with that. Okay. okay. So bling pack going in. And then I also ordered these cheap pens from Amazon. They were 12 for like $3 and they came from China. So you have to wait two or three weeks, but I mean, it was worth it. Cause if I wanted the ones for prime, it was $15 for six or I could have got 12 for three if I wanted to wait the three weeks. And it, honestly, they came in like five days. Um, so I'm going to use these pens. So now if you're just going to send happy mail. I probably just sent the pen and a little notebook. Um, like these little, these new ones that were in Michael's, I guess these are for like tans. Um, maybe I would just send that as a happy mail and be done with it. But this, like I said, is a goodie pack. So I'm going to put the pen in there. I also bought this cute little manicure set from the dollar store and they were on sale too for a dollar. So 50 cents. So, so far I'm up to like four bucks and that's it. And then what I did is I bought a 96 piece candy mix pack. You know, the kind that come out during holidays. Um, like Halloween and this was the St. Patrick's day one. Um, and you know, I don't know, they come out in various holidays. So I just put a few pieces of the pack in there. Um, I think it also had bubble gum, but I think my son ate all the bubble, all the bubble gum out. Um, so I just put it in a glassing bag. This is a four by six glassing bag, the opening to the bottom. Uh, sorry, my camera just jumps. I'm like, power don't go out. So I just stuck it all in there and then 
shook it down to the bottom. I took a piece of paper, well, this is two by four, and I just folded it in half and I rounded the corners, nothing special. And all I'm gonna do is, normally I would hot glue it, but um, I forgot about this part so I didn't turn my hot glue on. So I'm just gonna um, score tape it. It doesn't matter. I just use hot glue because I make a lot of these and it's cheaper than score tape. But if you're just making one or two one-offs, then score tape is fine. Okay, I am not burnishing this very well. Okay. So your backing should come off immediately, like super quickly if you varnish properly. Um, I like to have the opening to the bottom so that way the person can save the topper and save the bag and reuse it. So all I'm doing is lining up the bag inside the topper and I'm just going to sandwich it down. Nothing, nothing major. Um, and then just to give it a little extra pizzazz, I'm going to punch um, two holes in the top and um, add a ribbon. So you can use your ribbon scraps. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm hoping it's in the middle. If it's not, it's not a big deal. And I'm going to use this ribbon here. I'm just going to push the ribbon through. You can use your needle if you want, but my hole's big enough for this. And I'm just going to cut off a length. You can measure that length if you want to, but um, if I'm mass producing these, I will cut the first one to whatever length I want and then measure so that way I'm not wasting any ribbon. Um, and here's a really good tip. If you have problems tying a bow, flip your item upside down and tie your bow that way because if you think about it, when you tie your shoe, you're tying upside down. So I cannot tie a bow unless my item is upside down and then it comes out perfect every time. Okay, so there's that bow. See, perfect. And then I just flip it around. So um, I want mine to be a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to snip off a little bit of the sides, just a little bit, because I kind of like how it looks when it was like this. So this is a super cute um, gift to give like your child's teacher, your child's best friend, um, the bus driver, I don't know, your coworker. You can put their, their name on here, like if you had another little tag, you can put something like that. Um, you can make a rosetta and put that on top if you wanted to. Um, you could be, this is simple, quick, simple, quick, simple and quick. This took me what, not even five minutes. If you want to be elaborate, you can get out your dies and make something like this and maybe put some instant coffee. Um, actually that may be my next video. That's a great idea. Um, so that, and then this again, I just took a, um, three by four glassing bag, put five Hershey Kisses in there, and I rolled it up. And these are just, you know, the regular kisses you get at the Walmart aisle. Um, the classic bag, 12 ounces. Not expensive at all. And what I'm going to do is just tie a knot with this other ribbon. And this, as you see, this was just a scrap laying on my desk. Um... I'm just going to tie a knot because it's too small to make a bow. So if my fingers will cooperate with this little tiny bit in here. Okay, there you go. There. So it's still super cute. A great way. This one's slightly longer, so I'm just going to snip it to match. I'm going to angle that one. So it's so super cute. And all you did was put five Hershey Kisses in the bag and tied a, tied a knot. It's like not even a bow. So when you have your pieces like this, just let, that's it. These are really great ways to use up those scraps. If you want to get extra with it, again, you can put a tag. 
you can put Hershey hugs in there. Like say your coworker had a bad day yesterday. Um, you know, you go home on your lunch break, put some Hershey hugs in there and just put hugs, you know, something like that. Something super cute. Just a little happy mail. You can mail it. Um, I mean, I would, I would put it, honestly, I would mail it just like this. I would put it in the bag. Um, put your postage on it and mail it. So, uh, but in my goodie bag, I'm going to go ahead and put my candy and my other candy inside. So we're just, and I'm going to put this sideways on top like that. And I'm going to seal this up. Now, if I was mailing this, I would probably, I mean, honestly, you can mail it in this thin bag or you can, um, put it in a bubble mailer. Depending on how far it's going, I would maybe put it in a bubble mailer. I just stapled the top. Um, I put some score tape on my banner. And again, this was just a scrap I had laying on the side of my desk. I just cut it into a banner and hand wrote goodies from Tiffany. I'm going to place that over. Let me see how I did my other one. I'm going to place that over the staple. And if you want, you can take the little binder clips that um, you get from Walmart or Dollar Store or Michaels or wherever. These ones were gifted to me. I just tied the tiniest little knot that matches the, um, the ribbon that we used in there. And it just gives it a little extra, just a little extra. And you can go ahead and put it like that. See how super cute that is. So that is my contribution. So make sure you check out the others. I will have, hopefully I will have their names in the description box. Um, this is not actually April. This is actually St. Patrick's Day that I'm recording this. So <laughs> I should have them in the box below. And thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out Mandy, and she's at Mandy's Place here on YouTube. Bye.